Hey everyone, the name is Eritor and this is why I'm not making videos anymore. So as you might have noticed, I have not uploaded much in the past two months and there's a big reason for that. It's not that I don't care about YouTube anymore, it's not that I don't want to make videos, that's not it at all. It's also not that I'm going through a rough phase or that I'm down or that I'm depressed or that I'm not feeling well. That's not it at all, don't worry. So. First of all, let me say, I still love to create, I still want to create, I want to write, I want to make videos, I love what I do and I feel good about doing it, then I'm going to keep doing it, then I'm going to come back. Now, let's get on to the harsh truth of it. The harsh truth of it is, I decided two months ago that I was done with my job in customer service. I've been working in customer service for the past three years and I was really done with it. I was really fed up with it and I realized that okay I need to make some changes in my life to get out of here. I can't stay in this hole. I need to find the strength and energy and power to find something different. And what I came to realize was I've always had a passion for creating and something that I've come to be really good at is creating websites using WordPress. I've actually used WordPress for the past 10 years and I've done it well. I know how to build teams, I understand HTML, I understand CSS, I understand JavaScript. And so I decided it's time that I start doing this professionally full-time. It's time that I get a job where I can work 9 to 5, weekdays only, no weekends, no evening shifts, no compromises at work. Um, no having to work on your break, no having to constantly pick up phone calls, no constantly having to serve up and please other people. I had to move on with my life and uh, so two weeks ago I started my first job as a front-end developer and SEO specialist and let me start off by saying I'm loving every minute of it. I've built so many websites for different clients in the past and I've always enjoyed making websites, I've always enjoyed creating, and for me it was a natural progression. I, there is something about code that I naturally understand. I understand uh, when things are not working, I understand when there are missing semicolons, I understand when things are not working the way they should. So there is something that allows me to do well in these roles and to make me feel very confident. And so I can finally feel that I'm good at what I do and that I make a contribution doing something I love and that I can do that full time. I can do that 40 hours a week. Making videos has always been a passion for me and it will stay a passion for me. I think for the rest of my life I will enjoy creating in different forms. However, I had to make a priority list and my first priority list was to make sure that I had all the skills necessary to do well in my new role, to adjust, to uh, get there, to get the job, to get the interview, to get the position, you know, to uh, settle in well, to make sure that I felt comfortable with my new employ uh, employee, uh, employer and co-workers and everything, you know. That had to be my first priority because I had to get and do something for myself for once. I've always been a pleaser and I've always thought about, oh, what are people thinking about me and how can I make other people happy and what can I do to make sure that other people are good. But now I had the point where I also had to be selfish and I had to think about what I can do for myself and how I can become happier, less stressed and more balanced in myself. And it's been a recovery path, you know, customer service is not kind to people and those of you who have worked in customer service know this. Customer service is not a kind environment to you. It's an environment where you have to take a lot of difficult phone calls. It's a, an environment where you have to be very flexible. It's an environment where you have to, have to work very odd hours. It's an environment which often uh, drains you and sucks energy out of you and causes you stress. So uh, even now, a month after working at the, uh, in customer service, I just feel like I'm recovering from all that stress and I still have that some of that stress in my body. It still uh, causes me to worry and it still causes me to think about things in ways that I shouldn't have to think about it. I'm still thinking, oh, I have to uh, respond to every phone call immediately, I have to do things, I have to constantly look at the screen, I can't look away, I can't take a break, I can't uh, uh, just uh, get up and get a cup of coffee or uh, go out for a walk. I can't do those things because I have to constantly be present and taking care of other people and helping others. But I don't anymore and that's such a refresher.
It's such a relief and it feels so good to finally do something for myself. And honestly, it's got me to thinking about pleasing people in general because in the past I wanted to be a full-time YouTuber and coach and I wanted to uh, write for a living and I wanted to be self-employed and I wanted to do my own thing 100% and to an extent I still want that. But I'm less in a rush to make that happen. I don't feel the same pressure I used to that I had to constantly get more viewers, that I had to uh, make uh, videos that people would like, that I had to please other people. I don't have that anymore. Now I feel like I want to make videos for myself. So the next video you'll see it will be something that I make because I wanted to make it, because I was thinking about it and because I wanted to understand it. I get questions for myself, I wonder about things, I wonder about life, I wonder about psychology, I wonder about people, and I have to process those things. I want to talk about, you know, uh, the stereotype of the manic pixie dream girl, I want to talk about stress at work, I want to talk about, you know, uh, image and uh, how people feel about themselves, and I want to talk about that from my own perspective and just how that's being for me and how I'm working through that and how I'm learning to cope with those things and to understand that. So the next video you see will be something that I make for me and I hope that you'll enjoy that and that it will help you. I still care about people and I'm still a pleaser and I'm still somebody who wants to make other people happy and I don't think that will ever change about me. Uh, but I do see that uh, sometimes in order to make other people happy you have to take care of yourself and make yourself happy too. So. Let, my, let that be my recommendation for you. Do something for yourself and do something to be happier and to be more fulfilled and to be more balanced. And do stop doing something that is causing you stress or something that is causing you anxiety or something that is unhealthy for you. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.